hey you guys, it is about that time of year where you're expected to have your personal statements ready. You're expected to have thought about what you're going to write on your UKS application form. But university isn't right for everybody. So this isn't a video for those people who definitely, definitely, definitely know what they want to do at university. I was one of those people. I know that I was in an incredibly lucky position to be one of those people. I knew I wanted to go and do science at university because I like science at school. But if you're not one of those people and you're not very sure about university, then, well, there are lots of other options out there for you. There are loads and loads of brilliant, valid reasons why you may want to go to university and why you may not want to go to university. And what is a brilliant, valid reason for you, somebody else may not be able to understand. So if you're making a decision based on your personal feelings, your personal circumstances, don't expect everyone to be on the same page as you. Some people might not understand why you are making the decision that you are making. If this is causing a bit of tension at home, just sit down by yourself, write everything out clearly, and then use that as a basis to go and talk to the other people. Now, it may be that you just don't want to go to university. That's absolutely fine. You Maybe you just want to go out and get a job straight away. In which case, one of the things you can look at are apprenticeships. If people at home are saying that, you know, you're really, really clever and you're going to have a big successful career um, and are pressuring you to go down a very academic route, but you don't want to do that, there are lots of routes into work that are still impressive and academic. For example, you can do an apprenticeship in accountancy. That is still going to lead to a really, really good career. That's still going to lead to a really, really good future prospects, which may be one of the reasons that it will be impressed education university in the first place from people at home but it will get you earning straight away which means you have more disposable income and you don't have the the pressure of going to lectures and stuff now for accountancy you still have to do some exams some qualifications but there are loads and loads of apprenticeships out there if one of the things you're worried about is the money side of things that you can't afford to pay for it up front you've perhaps got responsibilities at home, maybe you're caring for an adult at home, or maybe there's a, a young, another young person at home that you need to be careful for. This could be like a sibling you're helping people at home look after, or it could be one of your own children that you are looking after. So if you don't want to take on the financial burden of university, First of all, I would say that it's not as bad as it seems. Student loans are good for covering most things and universities will have things to help people out. So if that's your concern, the first thing I would do is go and watch my videos about student finance. But if you've decided you do not want to take out a student loan and you don't want to take on the burden of paying back that student loan over time, one thing you could look at are degree apprenticeships. So where you get a degree and you're doing an apprenticeship at the same time. I know this sounds like a crazy, crazy amount of work, but the main advantage of this is you go and get a job and they pay for your degree. So you are doing both things at the same time. Kind of, I know, I know this seems like super stupid amounts of work to be taking on. But you are get, getting a job. You're getting paid to do that job. Um, maybe not as well as you would be if you already had the degree or you'd gone on to like a different apprenticeship screen, say the accountancy ones, they pay pretty well. If you're going on to do a degree apprenticeship scheme, you will be spending some of your time at university and some of your time working. Now, how this is split up really depends on what type you do, um, on which provider you do it with. It could be that you spend three days a week working and two days a week at university, or it could be that you spend three months working and then a month at university. How it's split up is really going to depend on exactly what it is. But there are loads of things you can do this in. One of the ones which is more interesting was something like policing. If the time commitment or living away from home is something that is concerning you, there are a couple of different options here. Now, one option, you can do basically anywhere in the country. The Open University. 
you still get a very good university degree at the end of it. But the advantage of it is you can do it at your own pace. You do not have to be sitting in lectures at nine o'clock in the morning. You could be out at work at that time or you could be um, dealing with your responsibilities at home during that time and then studying when you feel like it. The Open University is also another great option if money is something that you are worried about because you can do it part time. Um, so you can do a unit a year or two units a year, basically whatever you can afford to do. And then you can spend a longer time getting your degree, but while still working and doing the stuff you have to do at home while you're getting your degree. Now, another option for time commitments, or if you have to work or look after people during the day, is Birkbank University in London, which is a little bit trickier than the Open University, because you can do that anywhere. Birkbank is like an evening university, so they expect all of our students are out working during the day, because that's who it is aimed at. The majority of their stuff happens in the evening, so that if you are in London working during the day and you want to go to university in the evening, this is an option for you. It's not quite as flexible as the Open University, it is kind of like a more traditional university structure, but evening university. With the open university you can mix and match things up a little bit more and you don't actually have to go anywhere. Which makes the open university a great option for people who don't want to or feel like they can't leave home for any reasons. Now it may be that you are physically limited in some ways and that getting into lecture theatres or getting out of the house and seeing people might be something that you're worried about, especially during these troubling times. So if you are limited in your ability to leave the house and you're worried about that impacting university life, the first thing I would say is that universities have done an amazing job of opening up and adapting everything that they can. But if you still don't think actually attending lectures or labs in person is the right thing for you, then the Open University does it all online. That is assuming you are not thoroughly sick of online learning over the past couple of years. But a completely online course might be something that fits in with your life better and might be something that you're a little bit more comfortable with at the moment. So if you are under pressure to go to university because that's what's expected of you, because that's what everyone before you has done before, because that's what your school expects of you, there are a few options for you that you might not have thought about. So you can just go into an apprenticeship straight away. You can do a degree apprenticeship where you have basically the best of both worlds, but you're probably working really hard. And then the Open University and the Evening University provide a lot of alternative options if you can't live the traditional student lifestyle of going to live in halls somewhere else and attending lectures and then studying in the evening. Um, I hope that has given you some things to think about guys. Um, I've gone into a lot more detail about this over on my website um, and uh, in the whole series of videos that I've made for you already. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>